Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video on the 24 volt 100 amp hour and 36 volt 100 amp hour trolling motor batteries from Roy Pal. And I'm going to be showing you what comes in the kit and everything that you need to convert your boat or your trolling motor over to lithium power. All right, this is how the batteries will ship. Typically in two boxes, you have your uh, hazmat labeled battery box, and then I will usually open up the charger box and include the charger connector piece, and I'll just go ahead and put those in here so it ships in two packages. Okay, once you open the shipping box, this is what you will find. First off, the charger box will include the onboard charge connector, and it is very secure in the box. Uh, with the uh, styrofoam and you open it up you'll find your hardware you will find your user manual here and this is how the battery sits inside the box and again with the styrofoam it's uh, pretty secure so first off i'll go ahead and jump into what comes with the kit so on the 24 volt, and it's basically the same thing for each kit, so you have your onboard charge connector. These are gonna to connect to the positive and negative post on the battery. And that will connect with the charger output wire using this two prong connection here. So you plug these two in. This is your charger output. Your charger input is 120 volt. So you'll run this to an extension cord or to a onboard charge receptacle. The kit also comes with the onboard charger, of course, and the user manual, mounting hardware. So this is everything that's gonna come in the kit. It's everything you need to install this battery into your boat. And of course, the same thing goes for the 36 volt. You can widen this out if you need to by cutting this uh, wire sheet. 36 volt charger, onboard connector, user manual hardware, and also the user manual for the charger. So now let's talk about the 24 volt battery. This is a 25.6 volt lithium iron phosphate LiPo battery. It is a 100 amp hour, comes with a on off switch. And it is also Bluetooth enabled and Roy Pal has an app that where you can check the health of the battery, life cycles and the state of charge. The size is 13.2 inches long by 10.2 inches wide and 10.3 inches high. It weighs 48.5 pounds. It has a continuous charge of 50 amps and a continuous discharge of 120 amp. The peak discharge is 200 amp for 10 seconds. It has an IP67 enclosure rating, which states that this battery is waterproof. It mounts to your boat. It has a mounting feet on the bottom two on each side. This charger is a 29.2 volt, 30 amp LiPo 4 battery charger. The charger comes with a one year manufacturer's warranty and the battery is a five year prorated manufacturer's warranty. Now we're gonna discuss the 36 volt trolling motor battery. It is a 38.4 volt LiPo 4 100 amp hour battery with 3.84 kilowatt hours of energy. The dimensions are 9.8 inches long by 10.2 inches wide and 10.2 inches tall. It weighs 75 pounds. It has a continuous charge of 50 amps and a continuous discharge of 120 amps. The peak discharge is 200 amps for 10 seconds. 
The charger is a 43.5 volt, 22 amp LiPo 4 battery charger. Comes with a one year warranty. And the battery also comes with a five year prorated manufacturer's warranty. And the battery has an on off button. Hold it down for five seconds. The battery light will illuminate. It is Bluetooth enabled, just like the other battery. And this battery is also IP67 enclosure rated. So it is also waterproof. All right, in regards to the app, go ahead and turn your battery on. Blue light. And you will go to the uh, your app store and you will find the Roy Pal Fish app, which is right here. Go ahead and open that app up. Okay, when you initially open up the app, it's gonna ask you to connect to your battery. You should only have one come up. There might be, of course, some other Bluetooth options that it might be reading, um, but you can find your battery number. It's gonna list the part number here and then the battery number. So we're looking for this 006. So once you select your device, so you can see the part number is up here and then the device number is here. And it'll show you your power. So we're at 86% um, the voltage, 26.7 volts. Uh, this is the amp draw. So you can see how many amps are being pulled from the battery. You have your max voltage, minimum voltage, average voltage, difference of voltage between your module banks. This is the amount of cycles you have on the battery. So it's about 3,500 life cycles in these LiPo batteries. So this uh, battery has been cycled two times. That's gonna be important if you wanna sell the battery, you can show that there's plenty of, of estimated life, uh, state of health, and your amp hour ratings, actual amp hour, designated amp hour. And then down here you have your battery temperatures. You want them all to be similar and green. And the same thing with your uh, cells in the series. There's eight modules in the series in this pack and you can see the voltages and you want to make sure that all these voltages are good. Um, but uh, again, the app will tell you if there's anything going wrong with the battery. Lastly, this battery is Wi-Fi enabled and I guess, you know, if you're out in the water and you don't have any connection with cell phone, uh, supposedly you can connect with, I'm not sure how, with a satellite or whose satellite or anything, but um, you can connect to Wi-Fi, which may help you in an emergency situation. But uh, again, you may want to do a little research on that because I'm not very familiar with the Wi-Fi setting um, or ability on this battery, but it is an option. So this is the app. It's going to help you out. It's going to help you uh, determine the state of charge. You can pull your phone out while you're uh, you know, loading your boat up. Make sure you uh, have plenty of battery left. That is it for the uh, really general information on the Roy Powell trolling motor batteries. I think these things are a game changer. The packaging is really done. It was really done well. The enclosure, it's going to hold up really well in a uh, marine environment. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer those as quickly as possible. And uh, feel free to call us during normal business hours here at the shop and uh, we can discuss uh, in detail this product or any other products that we uh, we work with so yeah thanks again for watching please subscribe we have more uh, unboxing videos and installation videos coming out soon so uh, yeah we look forward to seeing you next time thank you